Hey guys, Spartan here for Day Trading Recap, June 28th, 2022. Let's take a look at what we did today. Um, we started off the day, we thought, you know, I was thinking, by the way, um, if the market could hold this breakout level on the daily, we we're going to actually get a move to the upside. It got obviously rejected and we pulled back within the range of the week and uh, we traded off to the bottom of that range. Now, this morning we did a couple different things on the long side. Let's start with the equity first. So we did do some Tesla and NVIDIA out the gate long. Tesla for about 14 points, NVIDIA for about three points long. Um, we tried some other longs today. We tried some uh, CVNA on the equity side, which ended up not working. We did some Sudo on the long side, which ended up not working. We did AERC from 15 um, 20s. We got about two points on that. LYT, we grabbed this. We waited until it came back into the five uh, dollar dollar range, grabbed a bunch around 540, 550, traded it up into the eight dollar range for about two and a half points there. Um, and yeah, we'll wait and see what happens with that tomorrow. I think that's an interesting one. I don't think it's done yet. Um, you know, whether it's the upside or the downside, I think you're going to continue to see some range on it in the short term. So that's an interesting one there. Uh, AGRX, we traded this one long for about, uh, you know, 30 cents. And then there was another one, AXSM, I believe it was. Yeah, this one we traded it long for about two points to the upside today. So that was a nice trade as well. We're looking for actually a squeeze towards more like the 40, uh, 150 area. Didn't quite get there, but you know, we took what we could get on that. So not, not bad at all. Uh, what else did we do on the equity side? I think that's pretty much it. Oh, KZR. Uh, this was another really good trade that we did today. We shorted this one when it broke the 980 level, which was that pre-market range, and then we wrote it down into the 780 level, and we essentially got two points on that, so not bad at all. Overall, on the equity side, pretty good. Um, we were pretty patient on a lot of stuff. Some of the stuff that we did that didn't work, you know, these small caps, like, you know, you lose like five cents, 10 cents here or there on starter positions, not a big deal. Um, other than that, you know, pretty decent, though. I'm happy with it. Oh, real cool, we did short for about a point and change as well. So I forgot to talk about that one. Now on the option side, a little bit different. We had some Qualcomm uh, 135 calls and we actually grabbed 140 calls this morning and those ended up going up the 135s 1,000%, 1,150%. The Qualcomm 140s went 453%. So that was a great little trade there. UNH, we had some 520s on. Those ended up going 500% today. We took some SPY 380 puts when the market started to break through the bottom Keltler channel and we got a boat 377% on those. We took some coin uh, 50 puts today as well when the market started to break down, which ended up giving us 163%. We had future 60 calls out the gate for about 117%. And then we tried some Tesla um, calls, which are holding overnight. And there was a couple other things like CVS. We did the 97s, I believe it was for 33%. We did the beyond 29 calls for 100% and change. Uh, we tried some mRNA 165s so that ended up not working. We did some meta 180 calls for about 19%, which was meh, whatever trade. MOS, we tried 55 calls, uh, those ended up not working. Uh, Hood, 10 calls ended up not working. AMD, we tried 90 calls, those ended up not working as well. Unfortunately, got stopped out of those. And what else did we do? IVR for about 30%. Oxy, 65 calls for about 20%. Coin, 50 puts, we got. I talked about these already, 163% on those. Uh, wow, scalped the 25 calls for about 30%. I think it was 27% exactly. And other than that, I believe it was pretty much the same. Oh, uh, some BABA puts for about 40% on those. Uh, we rolled some SPY puts into the 375s as well. And we ended up getting over 100% on those at the end of the day there. So, you know, pretty mixed on the option side. Obviously, we had some big winners with UNH and the um, UNH and Qualcomm and the SPY puts, but pretty mixed in that regard. You know, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I think, again, you know, the market's stuck within this range. It's got some room to the upside if it holds. And that level right now is 380.40. If it's unable to hold that level, I think we could see a pretty big sell-off in the market because it's going to be bear flagging with some pretty much room down towards 370 um, if we look at the daily chart, right? So... We'll see what happens, uh, but I'm leaning more on the bullish side because, you know, everything's got so much support. Until that support breaks, it's support, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, you guys want to come trade with us, you can go to SpartanTrading.com. You can sign up there. You get access to all the alerts, entries, exits, ads, obviously the live stream that starts from 8 a.m. runs to 4 p.m. every single day, as well as access to me after hours if you want, you know, free coaching and things like that. Always happy to do it and always happy to help. If you want to join the free Discord, that link is in the description below. You have a bunch of free resources there, which can certainly help you. Otherwise... 
Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow, and you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy.